Welcome everybody back to the latest vlog at Cornwall Car Care. You would have seen by the thumbnail, but I've got another Bentley in. Oh, I've been, this is the third one that I've been lucky enough to work on. Yep, returning customer. This is his new pride and joy, and I'm gonna make it look sensational. So before we get in and have a look at the paintwork, Flip him round. The whole vehicle. Wow. Yep, the whole vehicle is covered in overspray. Uh, I haven't even done any paint measurements yet. I've just got absolutely soaked getting it washed and ready, decontaminated and brought in. So yeah, hence why I haven't got my hoodie on because it's now in the tumble dryer, drying off. But I am gonna clay the vehicle and then we're gonna come back and do a paintwork inspection. This is gonna be a serious turnaround. <sighs> come back in a minute. I have to apologise, I've got the dehumidifier going. Oh. Well, that glass sounded like that. So, the small bit that I've got is built hand but regular clay, which is a bit more aggressive. So, yeah, just using this on the glass. making sure I've got every bit out. So I'm not wearing my headphones on this because I want to be able to hear as well when I've got it all as well as feeling it with my glove. I think we've got that. Well, that's the glass, the gloss black trim and the tailgate done. Oh, just got the rest of the car to do now. My arms are already aching. <laughs> this is stepped up to the the regular as well. Wow, this is on there. Yuck. I think this is going to take me most of the day. That's the roof done. So much better. Clay bar session finished. That has to be the longest that I've ever clayed a vehicle before. <laughs> that was bad. Every single surface, glass, trim, paintwork, like just everything was absolutely covered in overspray. But yeah, it's now all off. 
so we can have a look at the paintwork. So this is what me and the owner saw when it came in for its inspection. Yeah, woo. The bonnet has been painted. So that's why there's a little bit less damage on that. But yeah, this is, look at it. Wow. We got holograms, we got swirls, we got deep scratches. It's covered. Yeah, all of this is just hiding the true gloss and clarity in the paintwork. I'm just so happy that it is now contaminant free. Oh, wait, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Rear lights are not too bad. And we got this gloss black trim. That's a bit of a mess. Yeah, lots and lots of damage to sort out. Oh, I know it's not great, but I do like it when they come in like this. This is gonna look so good when it's finished. driver side and then again on top of this wing she's quite bad where the hell do I start on this one I think I'm gonna stick to my routine which is to start on the passenger side rear quarter work down the passenger side and then work round yeah, stick to what I do best, routine. Yeah. Right, I've got a new drum and bass play playlist to get through today, this afternoon into this evening. Gonna do a bit of testing and then we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see what kind of results we're getting. Let's get going.
cutting is completed on the Bentley. Yeah, really happy with that. Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad and Geon Compound Plus. We do have quite a bit of dust, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take it out the front, give it a good wash down with a Geon degreasing tablet. Um, while that's drip drying out the front, I'm then gonna hoover everything in here, mop the floor, wipe everything down, and then get ready for the refinement stage. Yeah, so let's get out, get this all washed down. What a piece of art. Right, you can just see the Bentley there. That's just waiting for the snow foam to dwell. I've got a cup of hot water and the Geon degreasing tablets. I'll smash that up in there. It's gonna make it, help make it dissolve a lot quicker. And then we just pour the degreasing tab in there. Oh, sh sugar. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's overflowing a little bit. Right, we're gonna get that dissolved and then we're gonna wash the Bentley and get it all nice and degreased, ready for the refinement stage. So let's head outside. The Continental is all dry. I fully cleaned up in here as well. So I hoovered, mopped the floor, wiped everything down. Look at it. <laughs> I, the, honestly, the afters in this are just gonna be absolutely stunning. Wow. Right, yeah, so my plan of action, uh, we're getting on a bit today, uh, it's probably coming up to six o'clock. I'm gonna make a good start on the refining. And then tomorrow, gonna lift it up, I'm gonna get the wheels off. Um, oh, the grill, the grill. <laughs> the grills, because they're down the bottom as well. I'm going to leave that towards the end and I shouldn't do. What I should probably do is get them knocked out first, but I'm so involved in the paintwork at the moment <laughs> that I want to get that finished. Uh, the grill, as you all know, is my least favourite job. But when they are done right, it just makes the front end. So let's crack on with the refinement stage. Roll some music. Let's go.
Yeah, so as you can see, the polishing is complete. We are now onto the wheels. So it's up on the lift, all the wheels off. And I didn't realize that the insides of these look almost chrome or very highly polished. But yeah, we got lots of dirt in these gaps and you can see all of this up here. Yeah, lots to clean, but they're not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, sorry, trying to get this sorted. There we go, I've got some glue residue here. Yeah, these should clean up. Absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna go outside and get the wheels cleaned. Probably not gonna film it because it's quite a boring and laborious task. So we'll catch back once they're all cleaned and back in here and then we can look at ceramic coating them. It's time to get the wheels protected. Obviously they've been outside, been chemically decontaminated. They've had a quick machine polish as well. These are beautiful. I love these wheels. Yeah, so we're gonna get them all coated now. Geo rim. Nice and easy, we've got this microfiber applicator. I'm just gonna lay it on. First application I always do quite a lot more and get it all soaked up into the pad. Start at the valve, there it is. And coat the inside of the wheel as well. John Paul White. You swap over to a soft wipe and just remove any excess. Give it a quick check. All good. We just do exactly the same to the front. That's one done. Three more to go get the arches dressed and then I can get these back on. I want to get these back on tonight and back on the floor. We pick up the camera the following day. When I walked into this morning and put the lights on and I was greeted to that, looks stunning. So I stayed on last night, got all the wheels finished. So they've been ceramic coated inside and out. Wheel arch liners have been coated. Calipers have been coated. Tires have been dressed. Back on the floor and I will talk the wheels up. I think it's 150 Newton meters. I'll double check, but I think that's what they are on this. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk the wheels up later on. I've got it on my list of stuff to get done on the board. So I've already done a spice second wipe down this morning. We now have Gion prep. This is the final wipe down. 
Once the wipe down is done, I will then start prepping the glass for Geon View Evo. And this is the first one that's having the Evo version of it. So yeah, really excited to get that on as well. But yeah, let's get the paintwork wiped down and then maybe get on with some glass. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm just, I'm just excited. Look at it. <laughs> uh, yesterday I had another vehicle turn up as well. Uh, it's another one of my favorite vehicles that I've never worked on before. It's a supercar as well. And This is madness. I've got Bentleys, a supercar, which will be coming in maybe in a couple of months' time. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few booked in at the moment. <sighs> right, I'm going to get this done. We'll probably come back on the glass. Wow, am I loving this at the moment. Paintwork is wiped down. God, that looks so good. <laughs> While I'm waiting for that to flash off and do its thing, we're going to get on to prepping the glass. So we have the new Gion View Evo. Yes, I've been waiting for this for so long. As soon as they announced it, I was like, I want to try that because I have the original view on my car and I think I'm what? How long have I had that? Six, seven, nearly eight months, and the windscreen coating is still performing. It has died off a tiny bit, but it is still there working. So yeah, eight months on that, and it gets abused, the car. Doesn't get washed as regularly as I'd like to, but the coating is still performing, and this is supposed to last even longer and easier to use. So I want to see on my car how long I can actually get out of it before I apply the new View Evo. We've also got Rim Evo, Trim Evo, and Leather Shield Evo coming out as well. But yeah, this is the first vehicle that is having the new version. So in the box we have, let me get these out. So we have, Glass polish, the label, and repel. So even though all the glass has been machine polished, you have to use Geom glass polish. This is a bonding agent for repel to stick to. So if you don't use this, you're not gonna get the durability out of this one. So to apply this, we have a glass, polishing firm pad. It's like the rayon disc, but in a small handy puck. So you'd put that on there, you work it into the glass, let that do its thing, remove that, and then we go on to applying repel. I'm gonna see how many I can get, how many coats of this I can get on the windscreen. Might be able to get two, oh, we'll get two, might be able to get three, so we'll, See how far I get on that. That's a 20 mil bottle. To apply repel, we have the micro, the suede applicators, not the microfiber applicators, the suede applicators, and their new applicator block with a thicker foam and cut out sides for tucking in the suede applicator. Oh, my brain, come on, come on. <laughs> So I am now ready to start applying the glass polish. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like seeing this stage or if you don't want to see it. Uh, it's glass polishing, it's not the most exciting job in the world, uh, but it has to be done. But if you want to see bits like this, then I'll keep doing it. But if you're not interested in me hand polishing glass, Leave a comment down below and I'll stop filming this bit. It's, uh, yeah, it's not the most exciting part of the job.
but it's got to be done. Right, let's get glass polishing. Get some music back on. Let's go. It's that time of the detail. <laughs> so glass has been completed. I don't know if you want to see me do glass or you'd rather see me do paintwork and other stuff like that. But if you want, I will do a separate vlog on just the glass and we'll go through the products a lot more in depth and processes. Uh, there's only so much I can try and squeeze in to these vlogs, it's gonna be what, five, six days work on this and trying to get that into like 40 minutes. There's obviously only so much I can show. So if you want a dedicated video to glass, leave a comment down below and I'll get one of those sorted. I'll do a dedicated vlog. Especially now we're using the new View Evo which was so nice to use. Very happy with that. I mean, the old one is still performing in my car, so the new one is gonna be even better. Anyway, back to the coating. I have my large applicators, my soft wipes, my bald wipes. Ha <laughs> And we have Dion Infinite Base Type 1 and Dion Infinite whoop, Top Coat Type 2. This part to me is so important in the detail because I lock in all of that hard work. I say there's been a lot of work on this one, a lot, a lot of hours, and giving it the best protection, it makes me feel. <laughs> yes. Right, so let's roll some music. Let's get the coding on three, two, one.
So we've made it to my worst part of the detail. I've done half of it. That pretty much took me about an hour just to do one side of it. My machine that goes onto the rotary polisher with my small attachment is not working on this one. It's not getting in tight enough to the flat edges. If the grill was more rounded, the holes, then it would work. But on this one, they're quite square and the foam cone just does not get where I want it to. Let's see if we can see a before and after. Uh, let's pick one of these. So you can see you've got this stain that's right up against the edge there and right up against the edge in there. I'm not going to moan about it anymore. I'm just going to get on with it. It's got to be done. We'll probably see you for some afters. The Bentley detail is completed. How can you not get excited about that? One, it's a Bentley and it's in here. And two, it now looks like that. <laughs> yes. Yes. So this had my level three detail, which is a multi-stage machine polish to remove the swirls and scratches. Uh, my full Geon package. So this was, everything was coated with Geon. Wheels, trim, tires, engine bay, glass, leather, paintwork, exhaust. Like everything was absolutely covered in Geon. So it is now fully protected. Jeez. Yeah, the overspray that was on this in the beginning was just, it was crazy. I've never had a vehicle like that with that amount of overspray, but I did it. It had to be done before I touched a machine polisher on the vehicle. But yeah, what an absolute beauty. And the grills. I think I recorded a little bit of that and then I just turned the camera off and put my headphones on and just got on with it. I think that, that probably had overspray on it as well because that was tough to clean. That was probably three hours just on that top grill, getting in there. It had to be done though. I mean, in the ball ground, you'll see that grill. It's come up beautifully. Oh, right, let's have a walk down the side. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, it's quite late today, but I'm going to get my stool out and I'm going to sit there and just stare at this for the next five minutes or maybe 10. I might even go and make myself a cup of tea and just take that in. Oh, I am so happy with the results on that. Let's get straight into some afters. So 2010 Bentley Continental Level 3 detail that has been G&I. Let's roll the mountains. 